Hello, my soccer universe, and welcome to the fifth part of the FCON jersey review. For this review, I'm wearing the only jersey that I have in my collection that was released particularly for this FCON. Yes, I have the Nigeria home jersey, but uh, that was released already ahead of the World Cup. This jersey was released this year, and as we will see, I think this is the best jersey not only of this AFCON, but also of the year. But uh, we're not starting yet at um, Mali in this group. The top seed was Tunisia, which we know now are at least semi-finalists uh, of this AFCON. And they also got a new deal. Remember at the last World Cup, Tunisia played in Ul Sport kits, which were, I don't know what I say, lag lagging imagination, but you know, they had some weird uh, things going on. Now they switch to Kappa and they get a very similar shirt to what Napoli had uh, without the weird leopard tiger thingy. It is the, your combat skin Kappa shirt uh, with a lot of pattering, uh, somewhat this camouflage pattering there, uh, which doesn't look all that bad. Other than that, the jersey is very simple. Of course, it has the color that Puma also has with the, just the red opening and then everything else is white. At least this here it's going around it. It's not continued like a Puma on the back. On the back we also see the FTF. So this is the only thing that really is on the back. Um, and yeah, Kappa logo and the Federation crest, which on one side it doesn't feature a soccer ball, so that's a plus. On the other side, I mean, you're the Eagles of Cartage and you made this crest after you won the last, the AFCON in 2004, because that's when the nickname came out. But why do you give the Eagle such tiny wings? This, as much as I love the nickname and so on, I really, really dislike this crest. The head of the Eagle is fine. But the wings, it's like <laughs> way too short. The shirt overall, I think, is interesting. Uh, is it super exciting? No, but I think it's a decent shirt. And for that, I give it uh, six stars. I think that is apt. Uh, the away jersey is basically the same thing in red. And uh, the color is maybe a little bit more classic looking. This fold over uh, v neck uh, reminds me a little bit more of Adidas. But really, other than this, it's the same jersey in red. Um, I personally like it a little bit better, but it's more or less the same jersey. And for that, also six stars. However, Tunisia also has released a third jersey, or Kappa has also released a third jersey for Tunisia. And I'm afraid we won't see that one. But that's the best of the bunch. Look at it. It's the, more or less the same Kappa style uh, jersey uh, as the home jersey, uh, but just in black with the red color. The only major difference is in the pattern, and the pattern is, of course, an eagle coming out. That's a uh, fierce eagle. That's what I want to see. And, you know, <laughs> and, uh, uh, Aaron is, lost, is not lost, lost to me that, that this shirt that's all features group also, of course, has an eagle. Uh, what's about it with eagles? I think the lions and eagles are probably the most prominent animals uh, in Africa for um, teams. Anyway, that one looks great. I gotta say, it. yeah, it's not 100% perfect, except, you know, crest. I don't like it. Uh, and there could be a little bit more done to let the eagle breathe a little bit more. But you know, you see the fierce eagle, you see it staring right at you. I'm afraid that the number will probably a little bit obscure it if it was worn that way. But without number, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm going to give this nine stars. Uh, I think that's fully deserved. So we're off to a great start in this group and it doesn't get worse as for now. Mali home jersey. Uh, basically the same thing as this one. When I saw this, I just was completely in love with the Mali jerseys. Uh, already the 2017 jerseys were great, where, but where they took the design of I mean, Mali before had just like the yellow or, or the white kit and then you had the Mali flag as a chest band. In 2017, they just made, uh, they kept the strict chest band, just had the eagle 
uh, and made the wings kind of straighten out to form that. And now they let the eagle breathe and the wings basically form the flag. Uh, based on a yellow jersey that has a very lots of patterning on there. The eagle is great on this jersey. Uh, you know, you see it already here, we'll see the white jersey in a bit. Um, it is just gorgeous. My only gripe with this one is that the yellow uh, band that you can see here nicely on the white jersey, you don't see very well on the yellow jersey. That's my only gripe. If you look at it in a game, uh, you uh, just squint a little bit, you only see the green and the red. That's not enough. I think there should be more. Uh, also, it, uh, the, it, I found, found weird that the color of the pants was slightly mismatched with the color of the jersey. However, look at the v-neck color with the Mali flag, the Airness logo, which adds its own African um, twist to it uh, with featuring, I think it's a leopard. Uh, that's great. And then the crest, the crest with this gold, which also makes sense. If you don't know Mali, the, at least the Mali Empire was flush with gold. Mali is one of the biggest gold producers. So that this is golden uh, makes all the sense in the world. And I think it's a really nice crest. As I said, these jerseys, I absolutely love the yellow one, especially. Um, there are just two things that the eagle, uh, the red here, um, then tries to connect up here, but it stopped here. And then uh, it shows up on the sides again to form kind of uh, a nice pattern on the back. Uh, the other thing is that the number, because of this eagle has on the front, needs to sit a little bit lower. I think this could have been alleviated by making the eagle hold a shield or something like that to post, to have the number in there. Other than that, those are next to perfect. Those yellow ones, I give them 10 stars and they are some of the best jerseys of the year. I think the only one that's better is the one that I'm wearing here, uh, the away jersey. The white one and why is it better because the colors of the flag can breathe here i mean just look at it you can see the yellow you can see the green you can see the red uh the crest pops even more you can even see the pattern a little bit better don't get me wrong i like the yellow jerseys and i was going back and forth shall i get yellow or white but in the end this one just looks stronger uh, it absolutely does. It also, uh, the flag uh, detailing here on the collar breathes a little bit more, uh, is a lot more visible. Uh, I haven't figured out what all the patterning on here is. And if you look, it's just uh, a little bit of a print on. And so it's very interesting, a very nice uh, pattern. It makes for a wonderful jersey, honestly. Uh, the feeling of it, I mean, I said it's the white jersey. If you look at it, it's more silvery white. Uh, it definitely has a great feel to it. And as I said, the golden crest, this just uh, puts it over the top again. The number here is a little bit too low. They, sh they should have incorporated with the eagle a little bit more. I think you could probably even have made the wings a little bit more net natural, but you know, I don't care. This is the best jersey of 2019. It's nothing short of perfect. I would give this 11 stars if I could, but I'll stick with my 10 stars. Best jersey of the year, bar none. And we'll see some more great jerseys in this group. Uh, next up is Angola. Uh, that's another jersey that when I saw it, I really needed to get this one. Uh, I, and I don't know if I will be able to get it. Uh, the manufacturer of this one, and I uh, quickly need to look it up. Um, it's not Capelli. It is um, Lacatoni, a Portuguese brand. And uh, sorry, this is a brand that I personally have not heard before. It's a Portuguese brand and uh, it was the jersey was designed by a local artist. Look at it. Uh, the, it's not a typical Angola jersey. I think your typical Angola jersey is red and it has these uh, vertical bands going around. Uh, so. It's the Palanzas Negras, I think black antelopes, and I really like their, also their 2010 jerseys, if you ever see them. Uh, no, let me know, because that's probably the Angola jersey that I really would like to have, but these run a close second. 
I like that, dif that they're different than your typically uh, Angola jersey or most of the jerseys in the sense that, you know, yes, it's red, yes, it has the vignette color, but uh, you have this crest and then the circles are radiating out and in addition there's this nice tribal pattern in there. And then you have on the sleeves another band with the same tribal pattern, now in color with, uh, you know, uh, black, yellow and red, a little bit white in there. In match, those look amazing. I also like that the yellow number on there, uh, the golden crest, it all makes perfect sense, makes for a really, really, really strong statement. Those, I know, some people say it's too much. I really like those. And there is a certain local characteristic, you know, a local artist designed this. Uh, it is an unknown brand. It makes a statement, but it's not in your face. It's, it's subtly done. And um, it creates some visual interest without uh, distracting from, from the jersey. I mean, this jersey creates a lot of visual interest, and I think it is sensational with the eagle on there. But this is because Mali can do this. Uh, Angola uh, decided to go a little bit more subtle route. I still I absolutely love this one. Um, not as much as the Mali ones, but I think they're still worthy of 10 stars. <laughs> I'm going to say this is... I tell you, this is a really, really, really good looking group and uh, only so much. Tunisia is probably the worst looking team in this group, or was the worst looking team. The away jerseys do the same thing, um, but just instead of the red shirt, we have now white with a, a red color and then the circles are also in red. Um, you know, it looks interesting. It's a little bit more in your face uh, this, this time, the pattern, uh, because the contrast is higher. And I'm not sure if this helps the jersey, to be honest. And for that reason, I give this white one only nine stars. And they also have a third jersey, which is in yellow. Similar problem as the white one because of the higher contrast. Also, uh, the white jersey is worn with red pants. The uh, red jersey is worn with black pants. The yellow will give an all yellow look, which is also not that great. And that's why you also have the all yellow uh, color. So. It's a little bit too monotone for that part. I like that they use the black number. I would say this is also a nine star jersey only, but you know, nine stars is pretty darn high. But those, those home jerseys, if I could get this, I would love to have those. And then the last one is a debutant uh, at the AFCON supplied by AB Sports. And if you look here, AV Sports, yes, might be. There's a Moroccan company, but they clearly take some cues from Nike. We talk about Mauritania. And this is another absolutely wonderful kit. The home kit we only saw it in the last uh, game. And I have to say, while I saw um, Angola play live, I saw Mali play live a few times, I never saw Mauritania play live. And so I didn't have a set look. I only saw the screenshots. And when I saw this one, I thought, wow, this is an absolute banger. <sighs> green then you have this yellow flame pattern come up in stripes which i think it would have been better if it's not striped but goes all over you have then the only thing the white going around here i don't like that much uh but i like the red sleeve curves uh look at the number and on the front you recognize the style that's the numbering style that they used for England at the 2018 World Cup and are currently using. I really like the crest. I think the only thing that does not fit is the white uh, taping around the neck. Other than that, may I say it? You know, it's a small African team. I don't have a preconceived notion of how the jersey lo should look like. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, Yes, 10 stars. I want to give this 10 stars because they're debutants and they came out with an absolutely great jersey. Another jersey that I have there. And this is the great unknown. I always said that the best jerseys at this AFCON are, of course, this Mali jersey, the other one too. Uh, the Madagascar I liked. Of course, Nigeria I like a whole lot. But this Mauritania one, that was for me the unseen. Angola I, I like. So those were my big four. I have to add this jersey and it's amazing that there are three, three of the best looking jerseys at this AFCON are actually in this very group. So yeah, I uh, really love this one. I'm gonna give this 10 stars. It's 
an absolute outstanding effort. Uh, even down to the back where there's also some patterning, these raglan sleeves. You know, as I said, they are taking some cues from Nike here. Uh, and the away jersey just whitens everything. Uh, you s there's still some patterning in there, I think or some Arabic whatever pattern you have the a little bit white sleeve scuffs I like that the uh, white um, the green collar I like that the white sleeves also have some green uh, around the cuffs so very thick cuffs which makes this also quite interesting and again there's the patterning going over the shoulders these are also really nice maybe they're not as striking as the home ones but I still I gotta give this nine stars I absolutely love this one. This group was maybe not the best to watch in terms of soccer. It was the best to watch for jerseys. Uh, this group, maybe not the most typically AFCON group because there's another one, the last one there, they had to go, but this was the best. I can say it right now. This is the best looking group. And already with this jersey, you just could not lose, honestly. Uh, but there are others that back it up and Angola and Mauritania good on you, you really delivered great kits and made at least this viewer of the FCON very very happy. Well let me know if you're in love with these kits as much as I was. As I said, Tunisia the third jersey, as soon as we hit the third jersey we haven't seen a bad jersey in this review and we have seen some bad jerseys in other groups where we didn't necessarily expect it. So yeah, quite remarkable. Again, drop a comment below and let, and let me know whether you like the jersey in this group as much as I did. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. We have one more part coming up uh, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that i want to wish you a wonderful day